In this tutorial video, I'm going to explain to you how you can get an image and convert it to a bitmap, but also how you can set the color depth of a specific image to four colors, eight colors, 16 colors, and 32 colors. Um, now the textbook also tells you actually to set the color depth to 64. That won't be possible using the app that I'm using. Um, so I should have already provided this link to you on Google Classroom. It'll take you to a BMP converter. Now this BMP converter doesn't just need you to put in BMP files, you can upload any file. So for example, uh, you could just go to Google and look for a picture of a fish. And you can simply screenshot that picture. Um, Command Shift 4, Command Shift 4 for screenshots. Um, take the picture and of course when you press command shift 4 the image should go to your desktop and so once we've done that we choose the color now if you check the textbook it wants you to do four it wants the color depth of the image to be four for one image so I'll add the image file I just took there it is open it now it's currently not a bitmap file but this converter will turn it into a bitmap anyway Now that's been done, I'll download that one. And once it's downloaded, I'll delete it. Now I'm going to upload exactly the same image, um, but I'm going to put it in different, I'm going to give it different bit depths. So this is the next image. This one should have a bit depth of eight. that one so but remember before you upload the image choose to bit depth this needs to be chosen before you actually upload it okay and then I'll upload that one for bit depth of eight depending on your connection this should be a reasonably quick process okay that's done download it and I'll delete it. And then we want a bit depth of 16. So we shall once again upload the same original image, but this time putting it in with a bit depth of, or a color depth of 16. Okay, download it delete it so now we should have color depth of 4, color depth of 8, color depth of 16 and just keep track of them you might want to rename the files later and of course we next need a color depth of 24 and I'll upload the same original image it's important it's the same image because we're going to compare the quality based on the color depth Okay, download that one, so my 24 image. Now we can't actually do a color depth of 64 using this particular converter. Um, oh, don't forget to delete it. Okay, and but we can do 32. So I'll select 32 and add the image. And then if you read the question on page 119, 10.1.3b, uh, it asks you to compare each file and a file size and also the quality of each image. So that's quite easy to do. I'll just download this file. For example, the biggest difference in quality is going to be between the 32-bit image and probably the 4-bit image. And you can see there's a very clear difference in quality. So I want you to provide each of these files for me. You should probably rename the files, um, find them in your download files, download folder, and maybe rename each one. Um, so the first one I took obviously is a is a four bit, so I'll call that um, and uh, and rename each one according to the color depth of the image. Um, and then you can probably just share each image with me on 
Google Classroom or you can just uh, import each image into a Google Doc. And don't forget, of course, to answer the questions for 10.1.3b and c about each of the images you've just prepared.